A surveyor wanted to know the length of a bridge over water. And line segment AB is going to represent the bridge. So here's the bridge, here's the water. These measurements are given. He designed the figure. Explain how he can use his diagram to find the length of the bridge. So here's his diagram. How can we use it to find the length of the bridge? Just taking the triangles to simplify. Let's see what information we have. Well, we know that this is 90 and this is 90. So these pair of angles are equal, they're congruent. We know this length equals this length. So these two sides are congruent. And we know these two angles are equal since they're vertical angles. Vertical angles are always formed when you cross two lines or two segments. Vertical angles are always congruent. So we know this pair of angles are equal. These pair of segments are equal, and these two angles are equal. What we have formed here is angle, side, angle. So a triangle, these two triangles are congruent. They're copies of each other. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EDC by AA, by ASA. Since these two are congruent, their matching parts are also congruent. This is equal to this. This equals this. This equals this. So their matching parts are also congruent. So what we need for our problem is this. In other words, line segment ED should equal line segment AB. So this 92 can be put over here, and that would be the length, the size of the bridge, the length of this distance. Notice we use by C, P, C, T, C. Congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. That's what we were saying, that matching parts are congruent. So congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So the bridge is 92 meters long.